Have you ever stuck in a situation where you want your users to upload big files in your application or website? But as we know, in low-code technologies, you cannot implement this feature because of the low-code technologies limitations. So how you can allow your users to upload huge files in your website or application? Hi, I'm Gaurav from KnowHow Academy. So as we know, we can upload huge files by making small chunks. But to make the small chunks, we need to write very complex code. So what if you don't know how to write a complex code? How you can achieve this functionality to allow your users to upload huge files in your application? So we are going to solve this problem in this video. Because in this video, we are going to use Azure Blob Storage in our Power Pages form. We will create an Azure storage account and then we will set the permissions to upload our big file attachment in our Azure blob with Power Pages form. So first we will go in our Power Apps. Now in our Power Apps we will create a table. I will create a new table. In the new table I will add the columns. Create. The table name will be know how uploads. Then we will select the column name. It will be title, which will be a single line of text. After that, we will click save and exit. Now we will search our table. Here, this is our table know how uploads. Now we will go in our Power Pages website. So now here we are in our Power Pages dashboard. We will create a sample site. Here we will choose this template. We'll select the site name. It will be know how file upload. Then click on done. So till then our site is being created. We will navigate to our Azure. So in the browser, I'll search portal.azure.com. After going to Microsoft Azure, here we will create a new resource. It will be a storage account. Then the storage name. I'll name it know how file upload. After that, the region is default selected. You can select your region from here and then click on next review plus create. After that, we will create so here, as you can see, the deployment is in progress. When the deployment will be finished, our resource will be created along with the already created resources. Let's go back to our site. Okay, some issue has been arrived in our site creation. So we'll delete the site and create again. Choose the template. Name will be know how file upload. Click on done. And here you can see the know how file upload resource has been created. Now we will go to home and here you can see your resource know how file upload. Now we'll go here and add the permission. So for that we will go to access control. Here 
add role assignment. Here we will select the reader, the next and here we will select the members. So here in the members we need to add our site. So let's check whether our site has been created or not. So our site is being created so we need to wait and the site is being ready. Now here I will search my site name which is portals then know how file upload. I will select this and click on review and assign. Similarly, I will go in my containers. I will create a new container. It will be same know how file upload. Then I will click create. After that, moving to our container in the access control, add the role assignment. And here this will be the storage blob contributor. Here storage blob data contributor. Then next select the members. Similarly, it will be portals hyphen know how file upload select review plus assign. So we have added our permissions. Now we need to set up our form in our power pages site. So here I'll close this in the contact us here. I will remove this form and I will create a new form by going in our power pages management in the basic forms. We'll create a new basic form. It will be know how file upload form. Then select the table which is know how file upload. Sorry, it was know how uploads. Now the form name will be information tab will be general. And in the additional settings. we will enable the add attach file. Then we'll click on save. So our form is saved. Now we will sync the controls. After sync, we will select here form and Select the know how upload form. We need to add the permission. So here we will add all the permission for anonymous users. Then click on save. And here in the attachments, we will set the attachment to required and attachment storage will be Azure blob. Now we need to add the storage account name. So for that we need to select this know how file upload. This is the storage account name and the container where we want to store the file which will be know how file upload. So here we will select the size. Here this is 9 GB. So you cannot store more than 10 GB in your Azure. So I will set this click on OK and I will click on preview to test our form the size to 90 MB add a zero again 
now it is 9 gb click on ok now preview so there is some issue so we will go in our table and here in our table we will go to properties here in our basic form setting we will select the attachment store location will be azure blob then we will click on save after that we will click on sync here in the title i will write file then upload a huge file as you can see this is video one of size 818 mb so i will upload this file and wait for its uploading so here you can see our video has been uploaded successfully without any session timeout or any failure so this is how you can simply upload your file in azure with the help of power pages attachment without writing any kind of complex code now if you want to write a code for uploading the files you can go to the portal web api documentation and here you can use this procedure to upload your file in azure with the help of our power pages here you can see the site setting and then you need to configure your permissions and after that you need to set the iam and here is your code so if you want you can take the help of this code if you don't want to use the direct method for uploading big files so this is the way you can upload your huge files easily without any session timeouts or any failure and you can leverage this method in your application or website development so in this video we learned how we can create an azure storage account then we added a container and set up the permission for our storage account and the container then we used our azure blob storage to upload big files with the help of our power pages form thank you for choosing knowhow academy as your it source we are always there to help you navigate to the tech world it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you so stay curious and keep learning